Hello! This is Ian Chikino. Gonna do some StarCraft 2 commentaries for everybody. Got more matches from IEM at, I think it's CBIT. Is that the event they're at? Um, anyways, this is a best of three series from Group Play, Group C to be exact. And we're gonna have Liquid Zinio. He will be our Red Zerg player down on the bottom left part of Entombed Valley. One of the latter maps might be familiar with it. And in the top right, his opponent will be Dignitas' Select, the uh, light blue Terran player in the top right. So, uh, Select is known just to have insanely high APM. Uh, every time I watch him play, his APM is ridiculous. And uh, now that Blizzard changed it, so it's like actually the correct APM, we can kind of see there. Uh, very high, over 182 average. Anyways... Uh, yeah, Select has some amazing micro. I still remember this game from, I think it was an MLG or something, where he was just, had his TV, uh, TVP is just ridiculous how well he can control Marines and Marauders and Medivacs. It is awesome. He can pick up Marines inside Force Fields, in between Force Fields and Zealots with, like, nobody's business with those, uh, with those Medivacs. It's pretty awesome, so. Zinio, uh, Zinio, uh, released a replay pack, I think a, a couple weeks ago on the... Team Liquid Pro website, in case you guys don't know about that, that's Team Liquid's team's website where they have all their team related news there as opposed to just a regular website that has the forms and all the other good stuff. Uh, so you guys can, uh, if you're not aware of that, go check it out. They post a lot of good content on there and uh, always have a bunch of replay packs, which is where I get some of my replays from, obviously. So over here at the front we have Select going with the gas and uh, going to throw up a barrack, so no uh, fast expanse for him yet. Might be going to go for Reaper expand, nope. Gonna throw up that um, Marine. Maybe gonna go for a Hellion opening. Quite common play here. And Xenio is gonna go for uh, the uh, hatchery first. And then get up gas and followed by his spawning pool. So, uh, so far we've seen a lot of really cool games from IEM. Unfortunately, as I'm in America, I like the games are on right early on in the morning when I'm at work. So I, I unfortunately miss them, but I make up for them by watching the replays and commentating these matches for you guys. So. Eventually, eventually I'll get there. I'm still, <laughs> I was still catching up on uh, the VODs from MLG Arena from the couple of games I, I still have missed, so let's get there. Just, it's a good problem to have. Too much StarCraft. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's check what these overlords are going to. Has he essentially found his opponent? Yeah, of course he has. Uh, Oops, overlords moving in an interesting position. Moving up around here. Where is he going to? It's going to take a while. <laughs> This Marine, is Select really looking for that Overlord? That is so sick. I was about ready to say, I don't know, Zinio, he's he's not cutting any corners, uh, but like, what are the chances of Marine catching this Overlord? And sure enough, Select's like, uh, got his Bloodhound out, sniffing for those Overlords in the sky. And this Marine, oh man, that would have been crazy. That was crazy there. Um, and even checking over here for it. So, uh, man, Select being very proactive with these Marines, looking around for these Overlords. And I just love the fact that Zinio was, you know, He's like, I don't want it to cut any corners, so I'm going to play safe, keep my overlords alive. And you know, I love those guys. They're a little slow, but I love them. <laughs> Zergling's in the middle of the map. I'm going to go get that map control. Take control of that Zelnaga tower. And I'm really confused how these things work. Must be some uh, Zelnaga technology. I don't know how this removes, gives you like extra vision. It's kind of like, I don't know, a giant looking glass or something. And then just like falls apart. It's like, ah! <laughs> it's powered by the sheer... Um, closeness of a unit which is interesting technology so uh, zergling over here at the top part of the map and of course hellions are out and hellions love to kill zerglings are getting on that already and did he lose overlord did he actually lose it overlord he just got supply blocked but are these guys have a kill where is it at one kill yep they did get that overlord crazy 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 i thought Zeno was going to keep that thing alive oh well so uh, the supply block didn't last for too long he's uh gonna start working on droning back up He's got the spine crawler up. Oh, uh, Select tried to look in there, didn't see too much. I think he saw just the uh, fact that there was an expansion from earlier. Yep. Queens up the front and spine crawler. More than enough stuff here for Xenio to deal with any Hellions. So four Hellions out. Um, so holding back on the the Hellion production for a little bit. May start that up again once he gets a couple more minerals. Another command center going to go up. So Select really looking to do some uh, heavy macro play this game. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of curious what Xenio's uh, style is going to be. I'm not too familiar with Xenio's um, ZBT, especially on this map. This is an interesting map for um, ZVT. Good position there. Move those Zerglings up to the top ramp. You do not want to let those uh, those Hellions just run on up in here. Uh, it's better to try and get them trapped here on this choke point and then have your spine crawlers poke at them and your Zerglings trap them in from the top. Just make a nice big Hellion sandwich. 
More Hellions all in the way. And uh, we're going to have a little switcheroo. Marines and maybe some tanks coming out here. But uh, Select is doing really, really good in the macro department. Uh, Zinio is jumping up to 4 gas. Let's so check the worker count. 41 versus 29. So Zinio trying to get as many drones as he can to uh, keep up with the soon-to-be triple orbital coming out. And that's going to really help Select's economy uh, going on into the mid-game. So no layer up yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if we see it. There it is. I was about ready to say it wouldn't surprise me if we see it pretty soon. There is that layer just now starting. One Hellion hanging over here on this side just to prevent any uh, Zerglings from uh, poking away at these destructible rocks. I mean, that's like hard labor, like Zerglings attacking these destructible rocks. Like one Zergling killing a destructible rock, it just takes forever. And uh, so he's using this as a Hellion for the high ground vision. He's going to put these Hellions down here to shoot the ones over here because I don't think this guy has enough range. Yeah, five range. I don't know if that's enough to shoot on the other side here. I don't think it is. Even if it's right here, maybe enough to shoot these or that one. But uh, this way you can line them up right there. Yeah, so Zinio is even using the spine crawler to work on those destructible rocks. I like that. I like that a lot. Back over here. Uh, what is Select doing? He's got his tank out. Hasn't taken any more gas at his expansion, but he's got his second gas now up at the main. Uh, hasn't yet put any more workers on it. More barracks going up and also starting 1-1, one, one, so he's starting that tech. Uh, once you get those upgrades going, of course, if you're going to plan on playing a long macro game, it's pretty pivotal to add in uh, upgrades. So Zergon's going to try and get in there. Nope, they're actually going to scout out the siege tech, so they're going to see tanks with siege, and that's pretty much it. Rocks finally do die, and uh, Xena's going to push forward with that spine crawler and uh, eventually get this third. So, uh, Select has kind of just been like having free reign of this whole map. He could have moved that command center over here a lot sooner. And uh, but you know he's playing just a little bit safe. Wants to you know doesn't want to do anything too crazy. Of course, uh, we we can easily see that um, he could have done that, but you know play it safe. Now he's going to move on over there. And then he's still going to have his expansion up before Xenio has had his expansion up. Not to mention, uh, with the worker count, he's had that orbital command up for a little bit while, so he's he's got to add in a little, a uh, couple more uh, harvesters that normally he wouldn't have. So, spine crawler out and select still using these Hellions. He's been so cost effective with these Hellions. Uh, let's check the loss count. Look at that. Look how many resources he's killed. And he's only lost, I think, yeah, one, probably, yeah, one Hellion, 100 minerals. So, uh, extremely cost effective with these Hellions. Select was just nice Hellion control. And just doing as much as possible. Just the little things. It's the little things that count of uh, delaying this third base as long as humanly possible. And as everyone knows, Select is inhuman. So, I don't even know how that works. You know, doing something as human as possible and then being inhuman. I don't know. I just lost my own train of thought. <laughs> Starport going up here. Uh, a lot of bio units coming out here for Select, so this isn't going to be any mech play. Of course, he was getting those um, bio upgrades earlier. He's got the armory done. He can start 2-2 as soon as he gets enough resources to do so. And let's see here. Yeah, I guess he's just going to start pumping out some um, medevacs uh, with the Starport. Put a... Uh, Reactor on there, maybe slip this, uh, slip this over. But uh, the mutas are at. Xenia's got a lot of mutas, and he can snipe off these tanks. Oh no! Thought he was gonna get those tanks there, but he's gonna go grab a free SCV kill. And behind it, there's a lot of banelings. Uh oh! This is a, gonna be a big bust here from Xenia, and he really wants to take out that tank. He doesn't want. He wants as few tanks as possible. Let these banelings be as effective as possible. And I'm curious, which way is Xenia gonna go? Is he gonna go in the expansion, the natural, or the third? But here he's gonna go for it straight on the front. Banelings, huge hit. Take out all the supply depots, and he gets a decent split, but still takes out the majority of the marines. And the mutas mostly get chopped up there, but they're gonna be able to take out the, this last tank. But you can see Zergling streaming in and across the map, and banelings do some damage up here. Um, but uh, didn't actually kill too many. Yep, only one of them blew up here, but uh, more reinforcements here on the way. Baneling, Zerglings, he's got plus one armor, so that'll allow him to absorb one of those tank shots more than normal. Uh, so we got three Mutalisks, 28 Zerglings on the way. That's as many as he's going to have the uh, rest of this game, unless he's just going to transition to something else. But uh, he's going to be able to get this tank on the left. The one on the right is still alive and select with some nice splitting there. Uh, managed to take such little damage from that. And he's quickly going to replace this wall at the front of his base because uh, he's anticipating more in Zerglings on the way, and that's a smart thing to do, because uh, Xenio, I, I, I don't, uh, I mean, after that last attack, he's kind of seeing, you know, he's like, oh man, that last attack didn't go well at all, um, I'll do that again. <laughs> so this is probably going to be a bad move here from Xenio if, he's, if he decides to go in with this small number of forces um, into, this, into this fight here uh, versus Select. So Select has 1-1. 
2 2 on the way, combat shield on the way. He's even starting to get mech. Fourth base going up for here for Xenio, so we're probably not going to see Xenio attack. He's just going to macro up a little bit and get that extra base going. And, uh, Good injects here from his queen. Those guys aren't holding up too much energy. And we've got the, the six gas now for Xenio, so he's going to have a lot of tech possibilities. Infestation pit, about halfway done. He's getting plus one on his mutalisks. And we might see him tech up to layer to get Broodlords. That is a possibility. Plus two armor on the way as well. One marine hanging on the left side of the map over here. Has got one kill. I'm not sure what he killed, but he killed something early on. He got first blood with that a while ago. Scan goes down first, and what does he see? He sees Zerglings, and he's going to bait them back into the tanks. Nice job there. He gets like four or five Zergling kills there. Maybe that's just three. It's hard to tell. Zergling blood is kind of... Okay, yeah, it was three. You can see. Sometimes it's just a pile of Zerglings. You just can't even count how many dead Zerglings there are. <laughs> That's a, that's a good problem to have as a Zerg player. So, 177 supply versus Xenio's 141. So, a uh, nice macro here from Select. His early game risk has paid off. And Xenio's kind of bailing bust hit just a little bit too late. If he would have for maybe an early two base uh, bailing bust, like put up the third hatchery and then just not droned it and then just went for the attack, that may have come a little bit sooner than Select was planning for and uh, managed to do something there. So, a drop on the right side. Gets a little bit of damage there. And these guys are going to be forced to run until the medevac picks him up. Yep. Those guys are all happy to be on that medevac. So Select going to make a push down here to the right side of the map. He knows about the fourth. He's going to siege up time. Yes. He... Yeah, that was a little bit too late. Zerglings are already all around him. Bailings do not connect, though. Tanks are going to fall yeah, from the muted. No, three of them survived. Oh, these were so low there. Look at that. 41 and 6 life. And uh, Select has a huge force here. Look at the supply. This is just not how TVZ is supposed to go. <laughs> You're not supposed to see the Zerg player with such an insane... Or, sorry, the Terran player with such an insane uh, lead as far as uh, economy goes. And um, just unit count. So, uh, nice spread here from the tanks. And the, Zer and the Zergling is going to go in. But there's so many units here in the back. Select has just got so many units already preemptively splitting. So there's only two or three bane banelings. Doesn't even matter. Infestors are out. That's going to be nice. He's going to get a nice fungal. Big fungal, that fungal there. Zerglings... And he's going to clean up the majority of Select's force here, but wouldn't surprise me if Select has reinforcements on the way. As we can see, a lot of Zerg or Marines and tanks heading out across the map. Those tanks do have that plus one, which would be nice to counteract the plus two armor on the Zerglings. Uh, actually, it'll counteract one of the armors as opposed to both of them. And there's the GG from Xenio. Select takes the game. As we just there saw a, uh, a drop here at the bottom left part of the map at the very end of the game. Uh, just kind of sealing the deal there. I think that was an infestation pit. Nope, wasn't. It had to have been. What was that? Maybe that kind of looks like a spire based on the guts there. I don't know. I can't tell. Anyways, uh, but Select just had the advantage, the build order advantage going on into the mid game. Uh, he took that risk, took a really fast third, or actually not faster, but he took a fast third uh, orbital command. And uh, Xenio's attack, his timing attack just came a little bit too late. Select was ready for it and with some nice control, managed to brush that off. And then Xenio going in for that like second attack was just completely even less effective than the first one was. And at that point, Select took his big lead and made it even bigger. And with some nice control here, pushed forward and was working on the fourth base. And it was too much for Xenio. Xenio had to GG out. So good game here from Select and Xenio. Game number one. So let's head on into game number two. Coming up next.